What's happening everybody? Welcome back to O'Leary's Garden where life is a garden. Today I just wanted to talk with you about what we're doing here on the homestead and how I like to set up rabbit hutches. Uh, we, we finally got the chickens out in the run. It's safed off well enough that, that they're allowed outside. Uh, maybe I'll walk you over there and let you have a look at them at the, at the end of this video. Uh, but right now I want to talk to you about these hutches. Um, I think this I think this is the my fifth one building um, the fifth one that I've built I just wanted to talk to you about the way that I like to set them up and why all right so first things first I like to use decking boards on the floor as opposed to the wire just because I think for one well the biggest reason is them you know it's easier on their feet the other reason is these decking boards will last longer than the wire will um, I haven't ever had any for 20 years or anything like that either way so I don't I can't say I don't know exactly when the wire goes bad but it would make sense to me that these would go would last longer um, now the wire, I'm sure it lasts a good long time because the, the one advantage to that is that everything falls through relatively easily. Um, you don't have to worry about anything sitting up here. When you do the decking boards, I like to keep like a drywall um, trowel hanging up on the hutch so that you can come out and kind of scrape any droppings down through the, through the cracks. But this is just a personal preference of mine. I like I like the decking boards better than better than the wire. The other thing that you'll notice when you look at these is that so the plan with this one is 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 this hutch is going to house two two rabbits. It'll be divided right here with wire, and I've got the nesting boxes on opposite sides because rabbits like to see other rabbits just like in uh, an aquarium you know if you don't see enough of a one year show fish you'll throw in a smaller school you know some dither fish that kind of make make that other fish feel safe Let's see oh there's there's some other fish over there so those fish are fine I'll be fine right that's the same way with chickens they like they pay attention to each other if this one's acting funny or if this one's scared i should be scared if this guy's cool i should be cool get what i'm saying so i have the nesting boxes on open sides or on opposite sides in the middle here kind of joined as an open area except for you know that divider in the middle but it'll just be wire so that they can see each other if these were bucks, I would not recommend doing this. You want your buck separate from your does because it can stress out the mamas. Now we're gonna have our buck in a separate hutch, probably about the size of, of half of, the, like that right there. That'd be the buck hutch. And then I'll probably do another one this size, if not bigger, as a grow out hutch. If you're thinking of building these yourself, I would recommend somewhere per per adult rabbit, you know, for each breeding stock rabbit, I would recommend somewhere in the neighborhood of four feet of length to three feet forward. I would, I have 30 here. I have four, this is eight foot long all the way and 30 inches front to back of inside livable space. And that's 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 a kind of a general rule of thumb I would I would advise because that's that's plenty of space for one rabbit and you know they they actually get especially these domestic types they actually get really comfortable um, in a hutch I've taken some out of the hutches and put them into uh, they call them colonies the way they raise them that way on the ground and it was one doe 
I did that with her and her litter and she was not happy at all <clears throat> I mean she was she was terrified being on the ground like that I don't know I mean it was in the she was probably was 25 oh, probably more like 50 feet from her hutch like she could see the hutches from where she was at but just being down on the ground I think she I don't know if it's bred out of them you know because they are domesticated rabbits uh, but I know that that they, they don't like going from hutch to the colony style if you want to raise them in a colony style I think that would that would work better not saying it can't be done but I only tried it the once and, and, and she didn't like it very much at all Oh, well, I guess uh, I can show you the chickens, huh? So all I've done is I finally ran that other 2x4 runner on the outside. I got my door built. I just have this set up on a hook. This right here. That's all it is. I put this 2x6 here on the outside so the door closes into it and there's no gap. They overlap. So I just, I finally got this outer course of wire done and this board here so that I could staple the seam of the wire. And now we've got outdoor chickens. Happy as can be. And now I've got a better place to start putting my compost instead of this pile over here, which is breaking down very, very nicely. Yes, she is. This, I guess this will just be a whole update on what we're doing here. This is probably, shoot, I don't know, two? Probably two weeks, somewhere in the neighborhood of that, two weeks it's set. And my mower's broken, as you can see. You can see the stripes on down the side right there. Where I'm having a fuel problem. Um, carburetor looked clean. I think I had bad gas from the person I bought it from. Got a buddy coming out to give me a hand with it on Saturday. I'm not the most mechanically inclined. I do pretty good with these biological systems, but mechanical is not always my strong suit. It's weird because I can do electrical, I can frame, I could do plumbing, but when you put in a combustion motor, I don't know. That I, I don't just don't know anything about them, I guess. So anyway, this is a this has been sitting for about two weeks, and we're looking at that so she's going but I don't think it's ready yet it looks to me like the grass is really really sad but if I pulled that off and put in my pasture mix I think the grass root system is too well established that it would out compete all of the new seeds before they got time to to do their thing So, I, I suppose that's all I wanted to wanted to say. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Um, again, if you if you so enjoy what we're doing here, please support support us in this endeavor by doing your Amazon shopping at www.olearylink.com. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. I'll catch you on the next one.